Hey guys, what's going on? I am in my truck trying to do a little bit of wiring repair. Uh, I had a short and it's been this way for a little while. Well, since the head gasket blew and uh, I haven't bothered fixing it because I haven't been driving it. So I'm going to show you real quick how to do a, a female Packard connector. Now, Packard connectors are strange. Um, uh, actually thinking about it, I guess they're just like any other type of connector. Um, you've got a female uh, shield and a male connector. So for all intents and purposes, we're going to refer to them by the shield type. Uh, so this is the what I would call the female connector. And these are the three pieces to it. You've got the shield itself. I can get this damn thing to focus. The lighting in here is terrible. Uh, you got the shield, you got the retainer, and you've got the connector itself. There's only three pieces to this particular connector. Now, um, when repairing wires, usually it's because the shielding is rotted, like uh, like this here. I, I do need to do some more repair. It gets old and brittle and just falls apart, which is what happened here. And I'll show you. Um, Focus, you turd. It actually uh, arced through what was left of the insulation on that brass nut down there and uh, melted the wire. So that's why only half of the cluster lights were working in that uh, video where I was showing you how fast the deuce would go and what RPM because this is the power wire for the right side cluster lights. Uh, so, when you're doing this, first of all, make sure that you've cut back to where the insulation is solid, it's not falling apart, and uh, the first thing you do is slide your, your shield on, and then you strip your wire back. You don't need to go back much, um, about, about the width of the connector base itself. Now, if you look at this connector, it is hollow inside of course and uh, there's two ways you can do these you can either crimp them on or you can solder them on um, it depends on what I'm doing with it uh, whether I solder it or not I kind of stopped soldering them a long time ago because um, it just it causes issues so what you want is you want enough of the wire stripped that it will go up into the connector and allow this shoulder on the bottom to go just down around the shield if possible. Um, that makes it more solid. So you see I've got it where the shield is inside there and now my woman is calling me and I'm in the middle of making a video and I'm not stopping. Now you crimp it. If you can. And of course the handles are coming off of my crimper. You want a good solid crimp, which I think I may have achieved there. And pull on it, make sure it doesn't come off. The last step is you put your retainer on the wire itself. And then you pull the shield up over it. Make sure the shield uh, doesn't flip the horseshoe retainer and uh, there you go now you see it is a little off center you can kind of straighten it out when you plug them in you twist them together and that will help uh, it find its way in and pile it so there you go that's how you install a female Packard connector thanks for watching guys hope this is helpful please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time if I can get it to stop, it'd be great.